Good morning, Internet. Welcome to another adventure. Today, I'm with Ghost Ninja. How are you today, sir? Great, man. Mr. L.A. vs. S.D. That's me. You should be ashamed of yourself, son. <laughs> Getting all those people arrested and bikes towed. Man, it wasn't. Uh, do you know where we're going to today? I have no idea, but I know there's food. Always food involved here. I was going through your Instagram, and I came across a photo of you eating a huge burrito. I mean, this thing was the size of a little baby. That inspired me for another food challenge for you today. We're going to eat a five and a half pound burger, and it's going to be painful. Oh, You're going to love it. That sounds painful. All right, what are we doing, man? What are we doing? Let's go see Bobby. Bobby Lou. Good riding around with Ghost Ninja. We gotta break you in a little bit. So I've known Ghost Ninja for a while, man. This is actually the first time we've ever really ridden together. I think I went to one of the LA versus San Diego rides. I think it was the second year of it. If you guys haven't yet, go check out his channel. He's got some good stuff. I brought a bunch of stuff for Bob today. Kinda hoping Bob's got something for me. Love this bike. Nice flames, yo. All right, Ghost Ninja, I'm gonna buy you a soda. Let's drink. Bob, what's up? How's it going, Bob? Yeah. There you go. Bob, what do you got? You got something good today? We got all kinds of stuff. Alright, well let's see what we got. We're fierce friends. Oh, Valentine's card. Oh, it's from Super Tiny Terror. I like that chick. Is that a food place? The Hernandez family. It's in San Clemente. We might have to go there. That sounds delicious. Not today though. So I got some stuff for Bob. We got a sticker from Eheart. She's out in Michigan. Probably shoveling snow you Corbs. Congratulations to Corbs. <laughs> I know we got married and I think he's got a baby on the way. Michigan Cruiser guy. There you go. Throwing a suburban delinquent sticker and Royal Disturbance. I don't know if you guys remember that dude. Yeah, that's old school. But I got a bunch of his stickers here. You want one? Yeah, that's old school. Right on, man. I got some stuff. What do you got? I got stickers, multiple colors, and one key tag. Dude, you're giving it big with the keychain. Yeah, you go big. You're spoiling old Bob. Uh-oh, wheel fell off the car. <laughs> Luckily, I'm a mechanic. There we go. So, out of all the sodas here, what's your favorite? The glass bottle, real sugar Mountain Dew. We're doing the pineapple soda. All right, let me buy that for you. Hand me this thing. Yeah. Thank you. We're going to get Bob a Smarty. It's for later, Bob. All right, next stop. <laughs> Massive cheeseburger. <laughs> Oh no, I just realized I forgot to input the address into my phone. <laughs> I have no idea how to get to this place. As usual, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the place that we're going to today, Watkins Soda Fountain and Cafe. Watkins Soda Fountain and Cafe was established in 1899 by entrepreneur Keller Watson. Now for the record, Watson's didn't start off as a soda fountain or even a restaurant. It originated as a pharmacy, like most soda fountain shops did. It wasn't until the later years that they established a soda fountain and turned it into a restaurant. With Watson's being established in 1899, it actually puts it on the map for one of the oldest standing businesses in Orange. And as a soda fountain, it stands as the oldest in all of California. That's interesting. Now to be fair, the location we're going to isn't the original building. It, it since moved since it was built. It was on Glassell Street, which I think isn't too far from where we're going. For many years, Watson kept it true to a drugstore. It wasn't until 1915 he decided to add a soda fountain to the business. As time went on, Watson was looking for other ways to turn a profit in his business. So he started selling American food. You know, burgers and pancakes and stuff like that. Mr. Watson held on to the restaurant until 1971, where he sold it to a guy named Scott Parker and went about his ways. This guy had to business till 2015, where he finally sold it to power couple Scott and Lori Skeffington, who I believe still own it. 
Watson's has been around for a long time. It's kind of frozen itself in history. It's got like an old school feel to it. And with that being said, a lot of movies, TV, and commercials have used Watson's as a location. I think it was in That Thing You Do, the Tom Hanks movie. It was in the Burt Reynolds movie, Gumball Rally. And I think also George W. Bush went in there for one of their famous malts. I don't know if he liked it or not, but he went in there. We're not going to this place for its history. We're going to this place for a challenge. It's a five and a half pound burger challenge that they call Watson's Eight Wonder of the World Challenge, which consists of a two pound burger patty loaded with all the fixings, a pound of fries, a big pitcher of soda. With that, you have an hour to eat this thing. And that's why we're going today. I don't know if Ghost Ninja's got it in him, but we're gonna try, man. I totally have to pull over and put the corrections into my phone. <laughs> Ghost Ninja brought toys. It's pretty loud, that thing. Yeah. You know why we stopped? Why we stopped? Because I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Good, I'm starving. All right, 20 minutes away. Ready? I'm ready. Actually, I don't even think I needed to input the address because I think if I follow this road long enough, I run right into it. <laughs> Schnitzel. Hi. Damn it. I'm a bad aim at these things. Think about it. The place we're going to was established in the 1800s. It's intense. It's up here on the left. There it is. 8% sure that I'm ready for this. I got faith in you, dude. Ghost Ninja, Watsons. What'd you think, man? The meat was very flavorful. You liked the meat. But more importantly, you had a food challenge. What happened? You know, I, th I started off really good, and I thought I was going to make it to the home stretch, but about halfway through, yeah, the bell rang. You got through almost all of it. The only thing you had left was what? You had some fries and the buns. Yeah, a little over half of a bun, yeah. Well, you did really well. Unfortunately, you didn't make it to the goal. You know, maybe in the future, we'll find something a little different, something more up your alley. I'm done with that. Right? We'll do it again, for sure. Yep. This isn't the last time we do a food challenge.
challenge together. Anyway, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when I do upload a video, be part of that notification squad. Make sure you go over to Ghost News' channel, get his version of today's events. I'll have a link in the description of this video. Check out SuburbanDelinquent.com. Get all the latest and greatest. I'm always adding new stuff there. Also, find out how to get one of these Suburban Delinquent exhausts. Vroom, vroom. Make sure you support the sponsors of the channel, Metric Method, Foss Helmets, and the law offices of Henry Haddad. And I'll catch you guys later. Cue the Bikini Girl. Oh,